girls. I hope that you've been having a wonderful winter break. And um, when we come back to class from winter break, we're going to be opening a post office center in our classroom and we'll use it to give notes to each other and eventually to give our Valentines to each other. This is what the mailbox is going to look like. And I need each of you to make a mailbox at home with your parent and bring it to school. This is the size box that you will need. Now, this is a small soda carton, has eight cans in it, just small. Um, it cannot be any bigger than this because we don't have space. The mailboxes will be lined up on a shelf and the top will be covered, the sides will be covered with other mailboxes. So it can only be this size. There's also no room for a door. We're not going to open and shut doors. We're just going to be able to put our hand in there and pull things out just like this. That way nothing will break on our mailboxes. Okay, so here's the what we're going to make and I'm gonna show you. I have a, a soda carton, just like this, about the same size, see? An eight can size soda carton. And um, I'm going to open the end. Nothing can be opened on the top of it because our letters will not go in there. They're going to go in the front. Uh, so I am going to take this top flap and cut it off. We don't need that. And then also these side flaps that are here on the side, I'm going to cut these in half and cut off just the top half. See that? So I cut off just the top half of it. Then I'll do the same thing over here. I don't want to cut it all the way off because I want a little bit of that side flap to secure the bottom with. So there, this is what I've ended up with, you see? I'm going to put my flap over the top of it like that. And then I'm going to staple it. I'm stapling that bottom flap to those middle, flap, those side flaps. You could use tape. If you'd rather use tape, that will work too. Um, so now I have my mailbox made. I'm not decorating the mailbox because remember, it will be on a shelf next to other mailboxes, a whole bunch. And the shelf is not very big. So you won't see the decorations on the side at all. Um, you only see the front part and I have your you put your name there But then we'll also put your photo there so that children if they can't read your name yet They can see your picture and make sure that you get the right letter Okay um, Now I need to put a name on this one and here I have one made for mrs. Rania and I'm going to put her name here and Again, I could tape it or I could staple it. I'm just going to staple mine. But you know what? Maybe I will secure the flaps down on either side with some tape and that will be okay too. See there? Just like that. And now I have my mailbox. Now, what about using a mailbox like this? This tissue box is a good size. A long tissue box, it's pretty deep. This will work, but I cannot use the top to put the letters in. Again, this will be on a shelf and the tops will be covered up. You won't be able to get to them. So if you use this as your mailbox, you'll need to cover up the top hole and then open the flaps like I showed you for this one. It still works the same way. If you carefully open the top flaps, so you could use that for your mailbox too, just like I use these other ones, but that's the way it'll have to be in order to get in and out of your mailbox. Okay, have fun making your mailbox with your parent, and I can't wait to see you um, after winter break. Bye-bye.